Welcome to For the Frog the Bell Tolls. Uh, this is a game from before my time for the Game Boy Color. No, the, the Game Boy. See, that's the thing. No one remembers any good exclusive uh, exclusives for the uh, Game Boy, except like Super Mario Land or something. Uh, we're gonna play as Prince. Uh, Prince Ron, have I decided to call him, because that's a cool name. Um, this game is uh, was never released outside of Japan, but I'm playing a fan translation, because, yeah. Uh, this game, I'll mostly play it blind, but I've played enough to know what the gameplay is about, and I do really like it. Uh, but hey, how about we just play the intro sequence? I can speak more later. This essentially just shows how the combat works. And I'm actually doing nothing, I'm just watching, just like you guys. Right, so we're not allowed to go on the boat with them. Um Okay, so I've done a little bit of research. Uh I thought the game played a lot like uh I mean how you move around and how it's not entirely just square based even though the sprites are. I thought this game was a lot like uh the Zelda games for the Game Boy. And the Zelda games for the game the Game Boy are actually based on this very engine. Here's an annoying sound, and as you can see, we start with a lot of money. Yeah, uh, that I would call that a lot of money. Um, the colors. Uh, I'm using a custom palette, which I thought looked pretty good for this game. In general, I do find green to be prettier than uh, black and white. And um, there were other color schemes, but I didn't really like them, so I just went with this one. Uh. Just a bit of information about um, the genre of this game. You may notice that it feels a lot like Zelda just by moving around and whatnot. And you also have this menu here where you, you'll, you'll get tons of items. But as you can see to the left, we have uh, we have stats. Uh, that's something Zelda never had. Uh, because in reality it plays a lot like not Zelda. It's more of a, the combat is more puzzly uh, in that you need to decide when to go to heal and which enemies to attack and which enemies to avoid and such. You'll see. Okay. So, 
we're trying to tr trying to out uh, trying trying to reach where the other prince is because apparently in this kingdom it's like yeah princes actually do something instead of just being rich people. We got a bottle of wine. A health a bottle of wine. It restores our health, if I recall correctly. And uh, our character is of course stupid enough to to just give her all his money. I I I'm not a big fan of that because uh, well I like money but we get our money back. However, I'm still not a big fan of giving away all that money. I I'm pretty sure he could use it. And uh, these houses are pretty much nothing. I mean, I believe the houses are empty. Anyway, we got our diary. Which is essentially what we use to save. The plot of this game is real interesting, actually. I, m I must admit. Uh, you'll see. And here you can write or you can read the diary. And I will actually just save over the one I have done first because I haven't gotten that far. And this is combat. We take turns in losing damage. The enemy I attack take damage first, then I take, then it takes. But I do believe it is based on your speed because speed was also a stat. Uh, another thing you may have noticed when we were at the menu is our jump stat. That's right, we actually have a jump stat. So... If you haven't guessed by now, this will have some platformer elements. And we got a life stone, which does well, what you'd think it does, it gives you more health. And here we got a bronze so sword, which makes us deal more damage, as you can see here on the menu. Our strength is now 4, it used to be 2. That's good. And now we can knock these out of the way simply by walking at them. You do not gain any experience or anything like that in this game, which I guess is kind of sad. But hey, that's just how it is. I think this would be a better uh, a game with perhaps some slow leveling would make it more interesting, but it would inevitably lead to grinding. So maybe it's better if it's done this way. Here, anyway, right? Here is a uh, guardian. With this sword, we can fight him. Not effectively, I mean, we're still taking a ton of hits. Curses, you'll pay for them. 